One hour maximum. To figure out if yet another card game is necessary or fun or both. Um, settings are okay for demo, I think. Let's try the game first and get to customization letter. Yeah, sure. Let's do that letter. <laughs> Drag the cards. Drag the cards elsewhere. Okay. So, this... Uh, looked really really cute from the screenshots and i think you would agree that <laughs> we are now we are sitting in our bot right and we have this little ui that hints at that fact i, th I thought that was a cute thing to put in the game like this and here are our stats Oops. head torso right arm left arm left leg right leg with uh, three stats each right armor health Crit chance. No, hit chance, sorry. Uh, temperature management. For those that have played Battletech, this will all be very familiar. Although this, this is not directly related to Battletech. Emergency shutdown threshold. Uh, we are player one. This is our XP. Our credits. I uh, can't see it because of the lights up there, but yeah, that's what it says up there. Spare parts for repairing. Current in contract, the Thormund, the Hawk, Chrome. <laughs> Card piles. The draw, the discard, and the bin. And then we've got two Mark 1 bugs. With 45 health, 28 armor. You can only target the body. Enemy intends to use support, Nano A, attached to Body B. Alright. Uh, single use, adds 40 armor and generates 15 heat. They are over... Uh, yeah, 40 armor, 15 heat. Their um, heat capacity... Do we see their heat capacity? No, not really. Ah, body B, it says here. All right, that's the type. Okay, fair enough. Um, down here, we have the the donation goal, which is totally in the way. Uh, lasers deal 25 damage and generate 6 heat. Laser Mark II deals 35 damage and generates 10 heat, so that's much better. A heat sink. Okay, so let's see. They've got uh, 28 armor. Let's start. What is that gonna do? They, they're gonna attack. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna shoot the one that's gonna attack first. Beep beep beep. Yeah, 35. So it it removed uh, seven health and 28 armor. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna use both lasers here, right? I've got uh, three action points altogether, so we're gonna remove him, and then we check our heat. That's an interesting display here. It says here overheating is triggered when heat is at 75% and then in brackets 32. But 32 is the current heat. I think 42. 42 is the shutdown. Wait a second. Those are the thresholds and that's our current heat. Yeah, okay. Now, I might as well use the heat sink, right? And end our turn. They armored up, and now they're gonna armor up again. Okay. D 
deals 50% more damage with attacks. Takes 20% more damage from attacks. That's a debuff for them. Oh, nice. We've got some healing, to say the least. So we're gonna assault them. Oh, assault is for us. For two turns. Oh yeah, okay. Because we can't do anything with these, right? <laughs> Full healing. Right, now we do extra damage with this one. 53. Not too bad. It was nearly enough to kill them. <laughs> Just a kilogram. <laughs> Tis but a kilogram. Okay, so we could uh, generate more armor. And that's it. Now they're gonna do a heat sink? Yeah. The armor on our right leg is gone. Cool. I like this. Question is how important it will be if it's just flavor or or not. <laughs> the wobbling. <laughs> Oh, we get the other two. Okay. What's this? Laser. Choose one. Light armor, DSS software. Restore one action point, generate 10 heat. Oh. An extra action point? Wow. That's good. Equip, unequip move costs um, spare parts. Ah, interesting. So, uh, deck building is, well, the um, customization is going to be interesting. Gamma laser, piercing laser. 15 for 10 heat and 15 armor piercing for 8 heat. Okay. Laser Mark III. Light armor. Pattern analysis. Draw four cards, generate five heat. Redraw is good. Drag items from the inventory to your mech. Items can only be placed on specific body parts. Weapons on arms, heat sinks on torso, head, legs. Software on the head and armor everywhere. Right, so the head is... Uh, software mostly you have to pay refit costs for changing the loadout you can't repair your mech during refit all right now we're in the customization bit this is our current deck abilities skills if you want to look at it from this equipment got a small heat sink here and four nano repair light armor right yes i know now we're gonna install this in our in our head how much is it gonna cost us equipping costs 13 spare parts right our exposure Increases our chance of getting hit in the head because we put software in there. Okay, I see. So there's a downside to stacking eight pieces of software in your in your head. Enemies will try to use that. Okay, fair enough. Um, we got two lasers mark one here. They shoot laser two. Where does the laser one come from? Ah, from this one. It generates only six heat, so no. Um, I 
put that on the right arm. You see the changes here, you lose armor. Because, you know, you replace armor plates with a weapon. Makes sense. Awesome. Now the question would be, do we want to take this off or not? I think the other laser is, is good enough. So we could take the small one off. But we will generate a lot of heat. Um, Terraforming uh, Mars Aspera... Uh, survival game was good yeah <laughs> yeah it does exactly that it takes a bit of all the other games and that is depending on how it turns out when they finish it is going to be either a total disaster or pretty neat it depends on the numbers it really depends on the numbers but it's it's a rather simple game and i think the price tag is a bit high for that uh or for what it's worth Surviving Mars, didn't that just get another pa uh, uh, a DLC upgrade? <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to take this out. No, okay, that's going to be... The refit will cost us 43. Let's move that up here. Right, we can repair their mech um, for 8... But I think we can also just uh, heal while in combat and go for the next battle. <laughs> Mars is hot. Imagine um, Mars, Mars survivors. Nobody has done that. Nobody has. Why has nobody done that with a Doom theme? Do it now, please. If you can make games like that. I mean, it's probably not requiring a lot of programming skills. You need to run Excel sheets, right, for the numbers. Um, please. Surviving Mars. Mars Survivors, sorry. Name's probably taken. It was easier to make Vampire Survivors instead because that name wasn't taken yet. So, now we've got Stalkers here. <laughs> Uh -huh. Different bodies. Fast and tanky one. Okay, they're both gonna armor up. Um, we are looking at 99 armor. Oh, we can't heal. This is... Ah, uh, oh, I thought they were healers. They um, um, generate armor. Okay. I need to decide which one to pierce. I think the one on the left makes a lot of sense to pierce them. Sorry. Where'd that go? Oh wait, did my uh I don't see their their heat, right? That's that's confusing. Um this this does generate heat on them. I thought it would pierce the That's the other that's the other card we have. Here, the piercing laser. This one generates heat on them. Ah, okay. So we're going to overheat that one and destroy that one. Fair enough. Now, this generates another 10, that puts us at 20. Lower torso hit, nice. Yeah, their armor is gone on the lower torso. Beat. Now, um, I should be careful. This generates another 6 heat. At 35 heat, we will uh, call, it will cause damage, right? I'll be, I need to be careful. Um, but we have the heat sink here, so that's no problem, really. Armor up, remove the heat, and then we end the turn. 
But they have got a uh, uh, heat dispersion, huh? Oh, that's the salver of three. Attached to their right arm. So if we take off their right arm. Hmm. I haven't figured out how to target body parts yet. It's probably hit chance, right? You don't you don't target their left or right arm, but you have a chance to hit. Yeah, lower torso is the highest chance. That's how it works. Okay. We can't just shoot off their right arm. At least for now we can't. Okay. Buff. Buff and armor pierce on the one on the right. That's three points. We get attacked for a lot. Oh, there's the healing I was talking about. We can wait with that. Uh, I'm gonna armor up. And then shoot these regularly. Right. Now, let's survive their attack. So far, so good. Mm, heat sink. And uh, do we want to draw four new cards? I kind of want to try the overheat on them with the gamma, gamma laser, but I think currently it's a, it's a viable way to play it safe and end the turn. Right, so our heat dispersion is five per turn. Okay. Um, don't have a heat sink this time. But we could uh, armor up. Thirty-three. Yeah, we can shoot a laser. Oh, look at you! Nearly ruined your torso. And uh, is it at thirty-five? Yeah, at thirty-five, I would get damage to random body part each time I generate more heat. Taking damage is equal to fifty percent of heat generated by the action and bypasses armor. Ah, the damage from the overheat. Right. So, the, as I understand it, I could now try this out, right? Um, we're gonna generate uh, eight more heat with a laser. That puts us at our critical threshold. And now I shouldn't get heat damage unless I do anything uh, extra here. Because it's gonna disperse five, right? We have a battle lock if we want to look it up, which is good. Oh, I didn't get any extra heat damage. No. Disperse five heat. Uh, turn starts. Cool. Did we get a heat sink? No, we did not. Ah, sheet. Yeah, that's bad. Um, but I could, I could venture. The piercing. We are we are above our threshold then. Oh, I could redraw. Ah, oh, that's good. Let's generate five more and draw. Oh, I didn't draw a heat sink. Okay. Cheat. <laughs> I guess we could go to forty-one, but that would damage us now. Um, they are not going to shoot us. They're going to reduce their heat. Okay, we're gonna, not going to overheat them. Now let's end the turn. I was really hoping for a heat sink there. <laughs> yeah, indeed. 
Ah, better. Okay, so. I think it's both lasers, lasers, lasers on the right. That's gonna put us as 30. Uh, we get. Oh yeah, I can do this, I think. Yeah, let's armor up and end the turn. Right. <laughs> no heat sink again. Oh man, come on. Let's try this trick again. <laughs> okay. It was it's still in the discard, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. I did redraw, okay. I was just unlucky. take another hit that's all right so let's read the description again equal to half of the generated heat over the threshold so that would cost us three damage yeah fair enough gonna cool down and there's our heat sink right now what do we have here 103 but we can pierce though so the next piercing will kill him until then we gotta be patient generate a lot of armor and shoot the one on the left Oh, we got the we got the soul. All right. Will, will it draw the heat sink this time? <laughs> uh, no, of course not. That's fine. <laughs> that's it for drinks that's it yeah another piercing there you go and now the other one's gonna attack for 30 See if we can pull the heat sink out of the hat now. No, we can't. Um, but I can heal up. Oh no, I don't have any points left. Ah, crap. I thought I could heal up. Yeah, we need to armor up. There's no way around that. We have 34 heat. That means I can armor up again. Or shoot. Now a shutdown is imminent. <laughs> Lose three. Yeah, you skip a turn when you do that. Okay. Interesting. Oh look, we have a heatsink. It exists. A better heatsink would be a very good upgrade for this for this bot. Um. to overheat them I don't think it's worth it but now let's redraw we got the heat sink do you believe it and heal our bot nice it's much more tactical than uh, than it looks and obviously the the deck upgrades are going to be the more important part to figure out but I'm enjoying the combat here a lot uh, they're gonna armor up. Okay. 
The heat, the heat mechanic is something that makes it rather interesting with the card choices. The cards, I would have normally I would have said the cards are very boring, but the fact that you have this heat mechanic uh, makes it rather interesting. And there's also stability, which we haven't even seen in the combat yet. Knockdown, unsteady. So they really took BattleTech and put it into a card game. It's it's really cool. I think. I'm not sure how good the game is, but it's a cool thing. For sure. So we're gonna play the heat sink, that's a no-brainer. And they are gonna attack, but we could play uh 28 heat. Yeah, we could do that. That's a kill shot. Nice. Then he got reward boxes. And they are wobbly. Oh, what's this? Another heat sink, yes. Remove 60 heat. Heavy armor. Pre-ignited laser. <laughs> I get all the lasers. Single use, 40 damage. Wow. I love it. But another heat sink. But it's a poopy, boring one. So, epic heavy armor. Increases the chance to hit for that body part by 25 and it adds 45 armor and 15 health. Wow. Pre-ignited laser though. 40 damage. Okay, but I'm gonna go for the armor. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, a heavy. Burst gamma generates more heat. Targets all enemies. Feedback laser deals 25, adds 10 armor to yourself, and generates 12 heat. That's pretty cool. Repair system single use remove 35 health from the target, add 35 health for yourself, and generate 15 heat. Drain nano. That's pretty powerful with piercing lasers as a combo. Poopy, poopy heat sink. But it removes 40 instead of 20. So that's not not super poopy. It's a tier three heatsink. The card at least is the heatsink is not just a tier one common. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. That looks too good. That is spare parts. Right, and now we get back to deck building in the best deck building I've ever seen. So we're gonna add more armor to the left leg and then we have a second repair system chance to target the the head is going up a bit mm. yeah Take away armor from the head is a bit of a risky, risky move. But it could be worth it. Less chance that it gets targeted. But 20, 20 armor is really not a lot. Um, nah, I'm gonna keep this one out. On the ground is not implemented yet, okay. Now let's refit. And now we could heal for 69 spare parts. But we just got another healing ability, so I'm... Oh, boss battle, okay, I'm gonna heal. <laughs> it says boss battle here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at him, the hawk, that's our bounty. You know what, I really like this game. I really hope they uh, finish it up and balance it, because this is cool. It looks like something that's hard to balance though. You've got the card mechanics, then you've got multiple enemies, and you've got this uh, heat system plus the staggering. Um, but yeah, it's basically battle tech, the, 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 battle, the, the deck builder, isn't it? 
Right, see, if we drain 35 health from this, they are nearly gone. If I combo that with the uh, piercing laser, they are, they are destroyed and I'm healing. Ah, it's just good. But we can't do that now. Because we need to do other things. Um, I think I'm going to fire off both lasers at the one on the left. Remove that heat. And uh, give a piercing shot to the boss man. Take it. They are armoring up. Which is probably something I should also do. They are armoring for 45 after attacking for 18 twice. Mm hmm? Yeah, alright. Draw another four cards. We've got three still. But the, the, the chance that we draw the <laughs> heat sink is very low. So I'm armoring up instead. In turn. I'm gonna drop to 15 heat on my turn. Oh, 16. I miscalculated. Yeah. 21 to, four, uh, to 16. Okay. Um, they are all gonna attack. I didn't really pick the best cards for that. Well, they generate so much heat that it might be worth it. It would be good that if we could see their heat capacity, right? But maybe we need a scanner for that or something. Removes eight heat. Return. That's a lot. Very effective. <laughs> Haven't had a silly silly bot in a while <laughs> so anyway uh, where were we the gamma laser I'm gonna try to overheat them maybe maybe it'll work it's a bit of a stretch but we're gonna remove our heat that we generated and I think armoring up makes sense I don't want to use the drain yet but I'm gonna use it on the boss I'm sure uh, Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, they are overheating. So they're gonna skip a turn. Sweet. Uh. Oh, it's tempting to get the assault in. They are both doing heat sink, and we're gonna get the 36 here. Okay, we're gonna do the assault. And then we can pierce, pierce on the boss. Do we do we think that the bo the battle ends when we have the boss removed? I don't know. Ah, the armor on the head is nearly gone. Whoops. <laughs> what are they doing? Okay. 36 damage. Oh, wow. Brace. 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 The assault is gone. Um, I'm gonna drain this one so it doesn't attack. Oh yeah, I did watch my heat. I still think it's that was that was not the worst choice. Oh, the heat sink helps a bit. 
gonna cool down another five in that turn. Right. We are at seventeen. I can't afford this one now. But this one. I was kind of hoping for the... For the heatsink. Oh, I lost my... Uh, ah, look at that. That can happen. Interesting. Oh, they healed. They did heal. Oh, I got my arm back. Look at that. That's pretty good. And, um... That one needs to go. There's no way around that, I think. But they're already heating up. So we're gonna keep the pressure on them. And we can, if we're lucky, we can disable some of their abilities by focusing fire. Lots, lots of options for the cards. That's, I like it. Um, I can basically only play one. We're gonna get uh, 56 damage. We've got 50 armor. I guess uh, that makes sense. And I should invest. Into more armor. <laughs> that arm is gone again. Ah. Is that pizza? Is it gone? No, there it is. Okay. Now we've got uh, not the greatest options. Keep them warm. And then I'm gonna stop. Still sitting at 26 heat here. They are both gonna do a heat sink. Hmm. I use the healing up. I'm going to do a heat sink as well. Keep them under pressure. Another armor piercing. I kind of hope we could overheat them, but it seems to be very tough to do that. Ah, I should have focused on the two minions. From the two minions. Oh, they also have piercing attacks. I kind of ignored that. Oh, yeah. We're shot up. Yeah, I, th 
think this is a very bad weapon because you can't really see their, their heat. I wonder if that's a card you get later. I'm not sure if it's good that it's the hidden information. gonna make it through this fight. He isn't either. Eat gamma lasers. And that's it for us. Wow. Yeah, that fight was pretty tough. Um, I think I played some cards very wrong at the wrong spots. And the gamma the gamma laser seemed to be... Ambush, hijack, gauntlet. Okay. More mech soon. We can start with energy, kinetic or close range. It's, it's a bit of a tough one to start the players with this. But I think the other mechanics are not yet there. Yeah, I guess on the second on the second run it would be uh, we have a different enemy here. That's cool. Ah, torso disabled with that shot. Understand um, first gamma. No thanks. I didn't really understand the the way armor works. That's why I'm checking this out again. Damage is subtracted from armor, right? Some cards can bypass, but I don't have any bypassers and I still was bypassing the enemy's armor. And that's for individual body parts, right? There's a total armor amount and then there's individual body parts. And if you hit the body part that has no armor anymore, it's piercing, basically, going directly to the health, even though the rest of the mech still has armor. That's the thing that was confusing me. I forgot about that for a second, but obviously that's how it works. And that's why you need to check this interface a lot more. If they have more than one body part, that is. They only have one. 
So you always hit that one. <laughs> and this is the only important value. But if they have multiple body parts, then you need to check. If you want to validate the outcome, basically. That's just so it doesn't get confusing. Yeah. Anywho. Nearly. Nearly gotcha. Ah, I miscalculated. Ooh. It's a bad turn to play it because we get the big attack, but still. Next turn we get uh, full auto. And we draw only, yeah, okay, of course we draw only repair cards. Stupid Nemo. So I made sure they do extra damage now. <laughs> That's crisis, <laughs> by the way. Now, it's 28, isn't it? Oh. oh, oh yeah, I didn't see the connection here. No reason to play them out. I wasn't paying attention. Right? More like this. And... That's alright. Overheating. We're not repaired enough yet. Repairing doesn't help in that game. Need to heal. That's the one. Whoop. Uselessness. Right. Time for the next game. So, one can only hope that they finish this game so that we can play the full version with all the fun stuff in it. I think the luck of the drop is quite is quite high in in terms of deciding what happens in the next combat. I mean look at that heatsink. It adds 10 health, 20 armor and removes 40. Instead of you know. Does it tell us uh this pre-ignited that means we Use it only once? Is that what it means? Draw this card on the first turn. Oh, it's a guaranteed first turn. Okay. Um, but yeah, we could switch them. And then we can definitely afford a second, second laser that generates way more heat. I think we're gonna keep that in. The deck is growing, but still. Yep. I would, I would totally play this um, quick boss battle. Come on, 
quick boss fight. I would totally play this. 210. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we can fire all the lasers. That's a lot of lasers. We could kill the one on the right. Um, that's 70, 105. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we had some fun. Um, I'll go all in on the boss kill. Nice, 143 armor. Go all in on the minion kill. Right. Oh wait, I can do that. Remove the heat and end the turn. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I I like them both. Out of action points. Ah. Yeah, that card draw card would be would be good now. Uh, yeah, I don't want to take the damage. Sorry, I'm just gonna shoot them in the butt. <laughs> now it's just the boss and us. Repair the leg. some points through through the armor but they they are armored hard <laughs> so we face that it's gonna remove 40 heat right Take the heavy hit from them. Oh, out of action points, we can just heat sink and end the turn. So even, uh, also on your own end, right? The, the the sooner you repair your armor, the higher the chance that you don't lose uh, access to one of the cards. Or, well, body parts with the cards. Um, I repair twice. Ah, that was a good one. Right. We've got their torso disabled. And their head disabled. So all the cards they get from those parts are not in their deck anymore. And that is... I think that's the cool bit about this game. Um, it also makes it counterintuitive if you played a lot of other card games that look like this. Because you you rarely end up dropping cards in other card games. You kind of want to play them. And here you sort of hold back sometimes because it's worth it to dissipate the heat and so on. That's potentially great. Um, now, we want to kill them. That was an armor hit. Okay, it's not gonna be killed. <laughs> oh yeah, it's an open world survival. Uh, obviously, can't you see that? <laughs> T-Bank, welcome in. I 
can win the boss battle. Take all. Doesn't work. Burst laser. Medium heatsink. <gasps> Drain nano. Ooh. An armor drain. Sweet. Now we're gonna put a burst laser here. Tetris. Um. Oh, we can't. We can't lose the heat sinks, right? So we're gonna add more armor here. That makes a lot of sense. And we take these out. The small ones. Right. And so on and so forth. I love it. New contract. Also, that was one hour of Jupiter Moon's Mecha. Um, get it on Steam. You can play the demo. Um, it says coming soon. I'm not sure um, about any information that, uh, about releases. Um, but I would, I would like to have this available soonish <laughs> so i can play it that would be great i really enjoyed that that game awesome